Darkness and light. All right, but we've we've waited patiently, and we got our combo set up. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat, and everybody on YouTube for some Thresh Scion. That's right, we're going to be playing a different version of a Scion deck today. Scion with Shadow Isles. For the first time for us, this specific list was built by a viewer, not myself. Um, just like all three of the decks today, they were all built by viewers. So the, the three Ds mean there. These were uh, viewer submitted donation decks. All right, so this is going to be a control version of Scion. We can see that we're going to be pairing Scion with Thresh instead of Draven, which you normally have. Because we're trying to play a longer game, control the board, and that's what Thresh can do. We got triple Withering Will, triple Grasp the Undying, trying to kill small stuff, heal our Nexus, play a longer game. We'll have, if we're like using Withering Will, Vile Feast, regular combat uh, to kill smaller things, then we have Roar the Slayer. Hopefully that, you know, it says kill the weakest enemy, but hopefully we've already killed a bunch of little weak enemies. And so this can actually kill something pretty big and be a three mana vengeance for us. All right, so we're going to have stuff like that, kind of control the board. And then later on, we're going to kind of have some combos with Scion. So once we get Scion in play, and, you know, it can do its attack and that kind of stuff. But then we're going to have a card like Chronicler of Ruin to go along with the Scion. So kill an ally, then revive it. So it's going to, so if we use Chronicler of Ruin on Scion, we're going to kill Scion, revive it. Now Scion, of course, it's always leveled up. But whenever the last breath, it's going to summon the Scion returned. So not only will we revive this Scion, but we will also have the Scion returns. So we'll have double Scion in play. Um, that's going to be pretty awesome. So we're, we got a combination like that. We also have Miscall. That if we can set that up, <laughs> oh my gosh, you know Scion Chronicler of Ruin it, and then also Miscall. You know that could be crazy. But uh, just Chronicler of Ruin and Miscall both work really well with Lost Soul because you know Lost Soul does have like this Twin Blade rep. Uh, Rever Revenant, that whenever we play this, it also has the last breath to create another Lost Soul in hand, so we can get extra Lost Souls in hand with that kind of combo as well. All right, well, let's get to it. Let's let's have some fun. Let's play some Thresh Scion. Scion Control. We're going to go play five games in ranked. Oh, that's true. Okay. Yeah, level two Thresh will will also bring us the Scion in play and basically always level up the Scion. Yeah, like Scion's just always leveled up. All right, well, this looks like a pretty decent hand. I wish we had the attack token round two for this. Maybe we don't need Chronicler of Ruin because we can send that back. I want to keep the Thresh, though. So we got Zoe Nami to start with. Hmm. I want to discard Lossal. Play Grenadier, discard Lossal. I will do that. I don't know why they did, didn't attack. I'm not exactly sure why. Sion's just already leveled up. <laughs> this card, that card is silly. All right, not a bad mega range for them. Still taking five. No Ravenous Flock in the deck to pair with Arachnoid Sentry or Withering Whales or anything like that. Little surprised about that. My quest is dangerous, but I will see it through. I'll save the Sentry for the this stun for like maybe like you know Sparkle Fly gets larger or something. All right, got a couple of good challengers. We have the 
Um, you have the Thrush skin with the, that came with the Ruination. What? Oh, right. Non immobile. Well, that was lucky. They had a 33% chance to save their Nami. And they did not. So they're down to two cards. They used a, they've used a lot of cards here. Down to just two. Yeah, and that's going to be it. Alright, cool. Thresh Scion. Just, you know, just kind of playing some challengers. And big challengers are a good spot to be. There's Lulu Poppy. This is the deck that yesterday we played against all the time. Seven of our 15 games yesterday. Almost half of the games were V Lulu Poppy. So you'd think that I'd be very used to their deck and know exactly what's going on, but I'm not sure how good Vile Feast is in this matchup. I think it's pretty good, right? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and keep, because I'm pretty sure the Vile Feast should be good in this matchup, and then we'll have the Salt and Stitches discard the Lost Soul for us. Uh, I don't love another Salt and Stitches. Yeah, Vile Feast should be good in this matchup. Gamma says this deck's basically Lulu Zed, but the champions don't compete in the... Three mana slots. That sounds pretty accurate. So do I want to just go salt stitches, salt stitches, attack with everything? That'd be five, ten. That'd be me attacking for fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> Don't miss. Quest will be over quicker than you can get out, get, get out of here. Yeah. yeah, that was just round three attack for fourteen kinda out of nowhere after playing after playing nothing on one, vile feast on two, and then attack for fourteen on three. Like what? <laughs> that's not how that's supposed to work. So they all have quick attack. My spider lane won't be able to profitably block any of these. If they attack with everything, I'll just block something with the four, three, and okay. They're not attacking with everything. Oh, I can fix that. I went to Withering Wheel. Actually, maybe we just blow up the Spell Shield. Remember what I told you? Swing low, send him sky high. I'll make you proud. No attacks for you. Well, that's not too bad. My five mana card getting countered by their one mana card. I mean, I can get a bunch of 3-2s, but I need a discard outlet. Alright, well, looks like they got this one. <laughs> We're also currently 1-0, and o, not 0-1, and one, but about to be 1-1, one one, so... Okay. 
Alright, one on one. Good hand, opponent. Good hand. What's that, Delfinez? Saying, saw the VOD for Nami Soraka. Love the deck. Yeah, we did have some unfortunate losses with it, but deck looked good. Vagar Senna. Why am I sending all of these back? Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! You had you got COVID from an outbreak at your school. Man, I'm so sorry about that. Hopefully you're doing okay, and everything I know affects everybody differently and everything like that. I'm, I really hope you're doing okay. That is, I am real sorry to hear that. This is just not a good setup, right? We have a lot of really, really clunky cards in this deck, don't we? If we're just kind of looking at it. Like, I can't play... Like, this card's unplayable, right? We just kill a 1-1. One, one. We can't play it. Um, we don't really want to use Sentry. There's nothing to Chronicler of Ruin. We don't have, like, anything to discard this Fallen Rider. So we can't Glimpse Beyond. Like, there is a lot of <laughs> ways this deck doesn't really work together. I guess my like my only play is doing this century here and because like we, i can't play the fallen rider if i play the fallen rider it gets pokey sticked or vile feast and it's dead this is just so awkward all right cool glad glad you're doing all right delphinus good good, good. So the first game we had the two mana unit that whenever you play it, you discard a card and draw a unit. What's the name of that card? Grave Physician. It certainly feels like Grave Physician is a card that we need a lot of copies of. I'm going to pass like where they, while they waste four mana and I waste zero mana. Seems like we need a lot of Grave Physicians. The last two games we haven't had it and... Man, our deck looks clunky. So we kind of just need more ways to actually discard cards, don't we? Something like Draven... Like, you know, we are really missing those Dravens making the spinning axes. We really are. Because I just have... Nothing to do. I guess I need to just hard cast this thing, even though that's not very I am here good to do that. I, but that's, no more. I don't have any other choices. So I wanted to save this for Vagar, right? Like they play Vagar, then this will kill Vagar as the weakest enemy. You have to imagine I play Revenant, they darkness the Revenant. This is ugly. Spotlight on me. This is really ugly. I don't I don't have anything I can play. Finally, a card we can play. All right, so I'm not playing the Revenant because, again, I don't want them just to bolt it. I really want to play Revenant, then a Chronicler on the Revenant. Um, finally, this is a card we can play, though. I like it. Cause I, I do not want to play these three ones and have them just automatically die to Vile Feast and Pokey Sticks. Oh, 
drawing that great physician really just started enabling everything else. Um, we did play both Mirror Mage and Curious Shellfolk decks um, for Meme Tier Monday this week. The Shellfolk deck was amazing and I think could, could honestly be very good and ranked. Really, really tough to play. You have all the choices ever, all the, all the time, so very difficult to play. But uh, the uh, Mirror Mage deck, not so good. Mirror Mage looked really difficult to play. So yeah, check those both out on, on the YouTube channel, especially the Shellfish deck. That one in particular, like I said, looked really, really good. So I want to attack right away and make it so I don't have the attack token anymore. So they, they kind of did that in the wrong order, right? Because if they would have just let the damage happen and then Vile Feast it afterwards, and this would be two out of three for leveling up. But again, the 1-1 one, one really hurting my these Slayer cards. Alright, but we've we've waited patiently and we got our combo set up. Rewarded. Chronicler of Ruin on the Scion. Get both the Scion and the Scion returned. to kill that thing, you would think. No. I could see them just taking this, though. Okay, this is a good sign. We're not going to see a mini morph. Probably just do this right now before something else happens, right? Yeah. Alright, there we go. See? Just have to be patient. We were just sitting there being patient. Our hand was so awkward for the longest time, but once we level up our Scion, get that in play. Scion Chronicler of Ruin combo. Pretty good, pretty good. There we go. And traditional Draven Scion over our Thresh Scion. Can we slow them down enough? We're going to definitely Mulligan Mulligan. Let's keep Thresh to go along with the Physician. Yeah, so, um, Emergency Balance Patch has gone through. We're playing after the patch. So they throw like a Ruin Runner out there. It'll be a 6-3, not a 6-4. Let's 
Last game we had all the cards that wanted us to discard something, but like no ways to discard. Now we have our way to discard, but I have nothing to discard. I could discard Withering Whale, I guess, or Mist Call. But it doesn't really matter, like the position can't block it, either of these anyway. This is kind of the problem with playing all these spells and all these things that don't say, like, either discard or want to discard, right? Like, our deck just isn't very synergistic um, compared to, like, their deck. Like, you know, we just don't have enough. You need, like, payoffs and enablers. Um, and we don't really have enough of either side. And so we can get, we can get stuck, but that's how it is. Maybe I need to be waiting on Scion for this card. I, I just feel like this fits right here really well. I could spend the five, the five mana on Grass the Undying. But then... You know, then I'm taking a lot from the other stuff. It just kind of fits right there pretty well. I love seeing that card. That looks good for our Withering Whale. I don't want to attack with my 3-2, of course, because I don't want them to block with the 3-1. I want my 3-2 to, to be able to protect against the 4-3. Yes, you can definitely make Shadow Isles uh, Noxus aggressive. You know, Draven instead of Thresh. Um, Oblivious Islander is a card that works perfectly with Scion. Um, yeah, you can definitely go aggressive Shadow... Like, there's there's a different version of Shadow Isles, Noxus, Scion, for sure, than just this one. This one that we're doing here, though, is pretty control-oriented. That's too bad. Thresh isn't going to level up. So we got 50-50 shot. Let's hit Thresh. Thresh. No! Lost soul. What do I think is better, Scion with Piltover or Shadow Isles? I think I think Piltover. Um, yeah, I think Piltover. I haven't exactly tried, you know, like the the aggressive Shadow Isles version, but playing with and against them, I I think the Piltover, like, I really like the list that I played day one with Piltover, just the card advantage that it had and everything. It felt it felt perfect. So block there, block four two, take three five six seven eight. Ooh, not even blocking with Sion at all. Yeah, I think I have to roar this thing. I kind of don't have anything to discard. I guess Glimpse Beyond. I don't really know why they were in such a hurry to immediately attack instead of, like, playing other stuff first. That's unexpected. I'm gonna make it so a get excited doesn't kill me. But I'm still keeping up this grass the undying in case of like get excited plus mystic shot. Like is that their plan? If so, then I have to like grass the undying my own unit. 
they do know, uh, you know, you can see the eyes here. They do know about this Twin Blade Revenant, so they may be like, well, why are they not playing this Twin Blade Revenant? Alright, so now I get to shoot this thing. Instead of my own spider. Yeah, I think my my opponent had the tools to win this game this round if they would have played differently. They could have won the game that round. But they didn't, so we get the win. Three and one. GG's. Back to Lulu Poppy. This was our loss. We're going to see if we can avenge our loss. Yuck. I mean, Grass the Undying does kill both champions. It's expensive, and they could have a uh, combat trick to stop that from happening. So I'm going to send it back. Good card. So they have a Bright Seal Protector. Quest will be over quicker. You can fry a ferret. Same thing. It's gonna be a tough combination for me. Talk about a curve. That's a curve right there. The box could be pretty nice next round, potentially. Because of Sharp Sight, I'm going here for the one health thing. If there's Ranger's Resolve, Sharp Sight, all that kind of stuff. I challenge Lulu. They play one of those. Pass the round. Well, I got big plans mm, for this place. Yeah, this Yordle Smith with giving everything quick attack all the time has been absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's been it's been just perfect. It's looked very good. What a hand. Alright, so 0 and 2 against that deck. I think our deck is just, you know, like this is a, a control deck, as we talked about, but it's just not very well positioned against that deck. It doesn't seem like you just can't really block and the removal doesn't work very well. Withering Whale and Vile Feast in those two matchups didn't kill what we need to kill. A lot of things with two and three health and then they're also playing all the Rangers resolves as well. So those two removal spells looked very weak. And then uh, Grass the Undying did okay. We really only had it the one time against a Poppy and we did kill a Poppy, but again, it's not reliable because of Ranger's Resolve and Sharp Side, and it's just so expensive. All their cards are like three or less besides Poppy. Um, just kind of too expensive. And Roar of the Slayer looks very bad because it just doesn't kill what you need to kill at all. So that matchup just doesn't look very good. It just looks like everything that we have is just like really clunky against what they have. 
Um, I think I'd want to be a lot more aggressive version of Scion and have better spells like Mystic Shock, Get Excited, you know, like what PNC has for specifically for that matchup. But otherwise, you know, it was all right. We did get to show off against against another control deck how good Scion plus Chronicler of Ruin is against Darkness Control. So that combo looked really good at that point. And... Um, and uh yeah that's true they did have just a really good hand of of like one two three four curve was perfect and then um some good inter you know a couple good units after that and rally but uh that's it's still something you got to be able to handle better than we can glimpse beyond did not look very good uh kind of in any game that one didn't look very good um but yeah there's just there wasn't like enough of like either part of our deck that we really needed to discard or draw or like the discard like cards that need to discard or cards that need to be discarded right like we'd have like one half of the deck not the other thresh was fine but just wasn't as good as draven in a scion deck i don't believe so there we go uh those are like the takeaways still can't complain with a three two record we'll always take that um, but I would, if I would build this deck with Shadow Isles and Scion, I would definitely go a lot more aggressive than this. I just, I just not in love with Withering Whale and Grass the Undying and stuff like that these days. I think that you can make a, you know, with Draven, obviously as your other champion, I think you can make a, a pretty good Shadow Isles version with Oblivious Islander. I think this could be like the card, like the reason to play Shadow Isles. Be able to give Scion Ephemeral and reduce its cost by one. So that if you have the attack token round six, you can be playing Scion, or round seven, you can be playing Scion. And then, of course, Scion attacks, and then it's Ephemeral, so then it dies, and then you rally, and it's just a nice little combo there. Um, the Chronicler of, Chronicler of Ruin is good with the Scion, but three copies could be a little much. As we saw a lot of other times, we weren't able to play it um, really with any other kind of value. Another option besides Chronicler of Ruin is. Um, and one that's kind of easier to play with Scion, honestly, even though it costs additional mana, is uh, Spirit Journey, because you do get to use spell mana. And so this this Spirit Journey is like the type of card that I could have definitely seen in a deck like this, that's also just good defensively, right? Like your opponent attacks with um, whatever, and you need to just save the damage. You know, you can use this defensively to kill their unit and revive it, or you can use it on your own stuff, including your own Scion, your own... Um, Twin Blade Revenants, anything like that. Um, but, you know, like, Dra Draven could also get you, like, your survival skills, which would be really nice in a deck like this. Just in a, any kind of Scion deck. So those are just all things to think about. And then, obviously, there's just lots of, like, pretty good aggressive cards in these regions. Could you even see, like, Rav like Ravenous Flock. Even if we want to, like, stay really control like this, Ravenous Flock seems to make a lot of sense. Like, instead of all these Grasp the Undyings, Ravenous Flock is like Grasp the Undying that's a lot cheaper. But, you know, you don't need so many of these five mana removal spells. You can play more Sentry. You know, like, Sentry was really good for us. I would have minded, like, a third Sentry, but then also, like, Flock to pair with Sentry, Vile Feast, you know, to go along with Flock, um, that kind of stuff. You know, you can you can have, like, that kind of stuff, too. Miscall, cute, but I wouldn't recommend playing Miscall. As we saw um, in all five of those games, Miss, yeah, Miscall wasn't very good, but cute. All right, anyway, there we go. Those are some uh, some things about the deck. But that's going to be it here, though, for Thresh Scion. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. If you got any other suggestions for Shadow Isles Control Scion, feel free to put them over in the comment section. I always appreciate those. All right, but uh, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.